Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If people remember who I am, <laughs> because I have not filmed in about over two, maybe even three weeks. And, um, you know, I told myself I would not do that, but then again, I'm human. And here we are. But I'm coming at you with a, I guess like a tutorial. I've had a few requests of you guys asking how I fill out my budget by paycheck workbook by the budget mom but the digital version on goodnotes and if you don't know how to get the pdf the digital version onto goodnotes i'm going to try my best to find a good tutorial to link down below uh if we wait for my own tutorial we'll you know you'll probably be debt free for 20 years by that point i'm going to try my best to link it down below how to get good notes onto your ipad and then how to get budget by paycheck onto your good notes. I'll try my best. Today's video, however, I'm just gonna show you how I fill it out, how I get it to look so neat. And I say that because what's neat for me might not be neat for someone else. I, I guess it's neat, but this is how I get it done. So I'm gonna show you my most used tools and just basically how I navigate it and how I fill it out. If you are interested in learning how, then keep on watching. Okay, so first and foremost, please excuse my nails. I have been meaning to get them done for, I would say, about two weeks now. Maybe I'm just in a lazy mood, who knows? But just disregard them. Let's focus on the iPad here, what we came here to learn, shall we? Okay, so I always have to move my iPad like this. I don't know why, it's just how I write, whatever makes it more comfortable for you. Um, I am gonna screen record that way you guys can follow along with me. There we go. So the first thing I do is, um, well, let me go over the most used tools. So let me see if I can zoom you guys in. So my most used tools, it's a little blurry, just bear with me here, but you'll get the gist of it. Again, I'll put everything else on the screen here somewhere. Um, so let's move this off to the side a little bit since we know we're gonna put something here. Okay, so my most used tools. So let's go through them all. Um, so here you have the, I guess it's like the magnifying tool. When you press this here, it just magnifies whatever line you select here. So when you write, obviously this is messy, it's big right there. Um, there you go. So whatever you're writing, again, you select the area that you want to magnify and it, ma it gets magnified down here and it just basically gives you a little more room to write what you want to write. So that's the magnifying tool. Next we have the pen tool. So you basically can select different types of pen. We have fountain, ball, brush. I always select the ball pen. You have the eraser here, which each of these, if you just select or like press down on them, a menu will pop up and you can just adjust as needed. And it's pretty much for every single one. I never really adjusted any of the settings everything's pretty much on default but yeah so we have the race tool which you can select the size over here onto the right the highlighter tool you can select the colors and the size if you want to customize each color you just press down onto the color itself and then a little menu will come up where you could either select the colors here or by wheel or you know things like that so then we have the shape tool this is probably my most commonly used tool um, and I'll go over why. Then we have the lasso tool, and then image, you know, where you can select and insert an image, um, which doesn't really apply here. So, like I said, my most used tool is the shape tool, and the reason why I love the shape tool, and that's how I make it look so neat, it basically fixes your strokes, if that makes sense. So, it just cleans it up. So, if I'm gonna write the letter, or let's say a zero. Um, if I use a regular pen tool and I make the zero, a lot of times it's just never consistent no matter what I do. So what I like to do is the shape tool basically adjust the zero and just cleans it up. It makes it look a lot nicer. If I'm gonna do square, you know, the lines, it just basically fix, cleans it up for me versus if I'm gonna do it with a pen, 
that would be my square. So if that makes sense. So basically when I'm writing each letter, it just cleans up the shape of the letter. So let's say I'm gonna write the word paycheck, how I did here. This is how I pick the shape tool and I just start writing it and it just basically cleans it up. Sometimes it'll do this little weird angle thing. I don't know why. I just do it again till I get what I need it to be. And um, another thing you'll notice is I don't always write the letters so close together because we can combine them later on with the lasso tool. Sometimes it'll move the line for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it does that. So I'm gonna write the word paycheck. So here's the Y. C, H, and I always try to make them the same length, so that way it looks like they belong together. So see, sometimes I have to do things, you know, a few times to get it exactly how I like it, but the first few words that you fill out they mean the most because after that, you use the lasso tool to just copy and paste each letter and create more words. And that way it all kind of looks in unison, I guess is the right word to choose. But yeah, so see how it's kind of spaced out? So I use my lasso tool and you just basically highlight over or do a little circle over the letter that you want to move or manipulate. So. Okay, let's say I don't like how this K is a little still too far away. Move it a little closer. Um, same thing here, my A is far. Let's move that A over. And sometimes if you do this selection tool over a different, like another letter, it will move both at the same time. So you wanna keep that in mind. If you wanna move everything together, great. Just kind of highlight everything. If you wanna just stick to one letter, just be a little more careful with what you're selecting. So here's the word paycheck. Now I want to write the word cash. So another thing I do to make it look clean and neat, I use letters within the word that I just created to make the new one. So obviously cash has a word C, has or the letter C, it has the letter A, and the letter P, like I'm gonna write cash app. So I'm gonna select with the lasso tool, I'm gonna to highlight the word paycheck. I'm going to select down or press down until this menu comes up. Then I'm gonna hit copy, press down, paste, and here we have a copy of that word. But obviously I don't need all those letters, so I'm just going to delete or erase the letters that I don't need. So I don't need that, I just need P-A-C-H, and then I'm going to start moving things around so to create the word cash. I don't need that letter H there. I'm going to move this over. I'm going to try to just select that letter A, move it over here. I'm going to have to make the letter S. So again, use the shape tool. That one doesn't kind of like swirly lines like that. It doesn't fix it too much, but it, it does clean it up a little bit. Select to our lasso tool and move it over, and there's the letter cash. And then I'm going to select just the letter A. See how I'm trying to avoid the C and the S, and hit copy, paste. Let's move P over and actually copy P, press down, paste. And there we have the word cash up. So I'm not writing each letter one by one for the rest of the page itself. I'm trying my best to write things once and then just copy and paste and copy and paste and copy and paste. Lasso tool, manipulate, move it where I need to be or where I want it to go. Let's say you write something and it's a little too small. Lasso tool will also help you or let you resize each thing. So that pretty much covers how I use each tool in order to fill out the budget by paycheck workbook. I'm gonna basically fill this out and just fast forward it 
so you can get a full effect of how I fill everything out. Mm -hmm. 